played in these type of games last year and then we didn't we didn't win, you know, and they remember that. They remember that feeling. I told them before the game. I mean, I told them at halftime, I said, this feels like the Cleveland Heights game last year. We were here. Definitely, I feel like this wasn't the game that we would have won last year. So I seen a lot of growth in the team, just even if, you know, shots not falling, just the growth and just staying with it, keep playing hard and pulling out tough wins. They really wanted this game, you know. We are a small school, and every time we get a chance to play a bigger school, a Division One school, like a brush that has so much tradition, and they've been really good over the years, and you get a chance to play against a caliber opponent like that, you really want to come out with a win, you know. So, and I think they were feeling that a little bit, and they kind of let it get to them. But it's a learning moment, and you know we got a couple more big ones in this place. It's going to be the same atmosphere, so we'll probably take care of business now. John's going off for 34 oh, 11. God. Jay fouls out with 216 yeah. left. Nehemiah's got four fouls. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your kids were able to balance that and maintain their composure and pull this out? Well, you know, this is what we talk about um, in conditioning in the preseason. Um, when guys say it's too hard and they're tired, they're sore. And I tell them, I say, you know, you got to get up and keep pushing because what if Jay fouls out? Or what if. You know, Nehemiah has four fouls, and you got to step in and guard a big guy. You got to be able to push through and be strong and be tough and be resilient. And our guys have really embraced that in the show tonight. Staying calm and composed, I mean, I honestly feel like as a team, we never felt like we were going to lose this game. So we just stayed together, just kept playing, basically. I mean, it was a tough battle out there. He's a really big guy. You know, I was just trying to battle and make it tough for him. Unfortunately, I fought out at the end, but you know, our guys put it out for us. What did you see watching that last two minutes? You no, know, that was just us proving how tough we are that we're not came, coming to play. You know, everybody think we saw, but we're not coming to play. We're here to say. In the fourth quarter, when we was trading buckets, we knew that we had to lock in, and it was every possession was important, the most important possession, because you can't make mistakes in the fourth quarter. And throughout the game, we knew to keep our head poised. And if they go on a run, we gotta be able to handle it and come back with a run. Considering, you know, Jay fouls out late, True. you're playing with four fouls, True. Collins plays makes these big step up plays True. late. What does that show about this team? That any one of us could step up at any given moment and that we all trust each other and we won't be mad at each other. We all love each other. So say like when Colin got them two big buckets, we we all was happy for him, you know what I'm saying? Cause we didn't care who scored it. We just knew that us coming together, it came on the defensive end. And the defensive end would produce our offense. I feel like we got some of the best guards in the city, man. They're really talented and they're mentally tough. And they didn't have their best game, but they didn't let it affect them. They kept pushing, they kept fighting. And when we needed them the most down the stretch, they was there for us. Um, I don't wanna, as a guard, I don't wanna take the credit, but I feel like us as the guard, like me, Sarah, Jane, I feel like we play a big role in this win tonight.